Hey there, friends. It's Sue again, taking a walk through the gardens. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I've got my fenced gardens. I've got the backyard gardens. I've got the um, side driveway gardens, the front gardens of the house. Um, the other side, which is kind of my shade garden and my pollinator gardens and um, kind of native garden. And this is my final garden I'm gonna show. This is my new baby. And my husband's about, <laughs> I don't know. He, he's, he puts up with me, let's just say that. But this is a new garden and we've got lovely things like a trash can and electrical box that I can't do anything about. Um, there's Peter. That was my mom's in her gardens, and, um, she passed. It's been 17 years, so Peter has stayed with me. Um, and then I have my new arbor. Um, in my fenced-in garden video, I talked about my antique roses from, um, Rogue Valley. Roses, I think they're in Oregon. Um, and this is the one rose that's out here. And this is a, um, it is, yeah, Cecil Bruner. So it's a climber. And I'm hoping, I've got it caged right now. Um, I'm planted marigolds. And then this guy right here, I grew years ago. It's a Caryoptis blue fairy. Deer do not like it. And, um, some um, amongst our moves, I ended up not having it anymore, but my best friend in South Carolina, she did. And so I got a cutting for that. So I'm trying to plant things that deer don't like around this. Um, and then I don't know if I'm just gonna net it up the side to get it up and over. And then on this side, I have a Lady Banks rose. And this rose here was one of my mom's favorites. And this came from my best friend, South Carolina. Her mom grew this. So this is kind of my mom remembrance memorial and great friends arbor. Um, sorry, I see weeds and I want to pull them. Um, but yeah, so this is my new garden. So I wanted like a fairy garden um, kind of thing. And you can walk in this way. And as you can see, this side hasn't been done yet. I still got to get some more rocks back in the rock farm. Um, and I need to get some stumps removed, that one, and that's that stump right there, and then this guy right here so I can plant my button bush there. Um, and these maples end up shooting out runners all over the place. So when you're, it's been fun digging up in here, like I've got some out in the middle of my path. Um, so this part over here really hadn't been done yet. Um, I got some goldenrod that was here and this was literally just weeds and growth, just like what's out here. There were some trees here. This was this stump wasn't here where the pots are. I mean, this stump was here. The tree was already cut down when we moved in. But I've made that. I'm trying to find a um, large, um, like, bird bath top to um, put on top. And I want to make, like, a fairy garden with the little figurines and stuff. And then you got the steps coming up that um, go around it. But I'm battling um, blackberries. You see that? Lots of wild blackberries in here. And the good old burn weed right there that I'm constantly pulling. Um, another penstemon. Love penstemons. There's even something buzzing around here. This right here is a pearl bush that came from my best friend's mama. She grew that one too. Um, I grew these from two houses ago. Um, we had a a jap maple and it's such a pretty limey green and then it turns orangish red in the on the fall but grew that from a little seedling um so i'm kind of planting here and there um just want to make a bunch oops these are seeds down here a bunch of different um pollinator plants um this one was neat i just found this is a coreopsis but it's variegated it's called tequila sunrise I'm hoping it'll be a good one. Here's something else we have right here. The wild, oops, I'm in the shadow. That right there is like these little miniature black, um, bl uh, not blueberry bushes. 
And uh, so this was all wild. And so I've got lots of work to do. Any burn weed, black, wild blackberries, all that. And I have piles everywhere. And see, they like to grow, these blackberries like to disguise itself next to an actual plant that I planted. And um, I'll just try and get these guys out. Um, got a new Itea. I have one of these in the backyard. So I'm hoping that will at least grow big. Kind of covered the view back here. I have to be careful because of, of course, utility lines that are underground. They come right through there and go out that way. Um, but I have planted lavender, moved some from back, the backyard, and then bought some more, and then got some foxgloves and a wild blackberry. Two of them. Um, so, and then daffodils. These are all the daffodils. I'll have to come back out. These guys are getting big with my shovel and get those up. But um, this is the Carolina lupin. That's a really pretty, pretty one. Um, these are yarrow that I just moved from. I have a yarrow over there in that garden. And it shoots out babies. And they're doing really well. Crocosmia from the backyard. Um, some daisies I pulled from the backyard. Cut leaf echinacea. These guys right here are um, St. John's warts. Hypercurnium. Is that how you say it? Um, and my neighbor didn't want them anymore. I've got one over there, four here, and then two over by my bees. Those are my bees way over there. I just have two hives right now. Um, so I like to get over here and uh, just plant. Planted all this new stuff. I moved some uh, Black Eyed Susans from the back. Um, the sea holly I grew from little tubers. I think I got at Walmart. This is a really cool acillium. Alyssum. I said that wrong. Alyssum. Um, but it's kind of like a sedum. That's why I was saying that that way. It's kind of like a cross between a sedum and an alyssum. But that one's neat. Uh, Delosperma. The ice plants. Deer are supposed to get that. I'm hoping they don't find them yet. More maple coming up. I got to dig that up. Sweet spire. This, oh, this is blooming. I got to get it right. I call it the wrong thing. This is from Carolina uh, Native Nursery. This is a bush honeysuckle. And look at the, the blooms. Doesn't smell, but they're like, it's not the invasive. This is a native. So really cool. Um, cut another cut leaf and I've, I dug up little echinacea seedlings. They're along here. So trying to get things to get to grow over here. I do have back here, and this is getting ready to bloom. This is a silky dogwood. Um, I have some azaleas. It's great when you have friends that also have family that uh, propagate plants because my best friend in South Carolina, she, her mom did all these azaleas. Um, what? Oh, this is, I was like, I planted this. This is my Japanese maple and it seems to be doing really well. Just planted that this spring. Um, not Japanese maple, Japanese magnolia. Goodness, the sun's getting me. One of my Jap maples that I brought with me. See, so I have a lot of the blueberries here. These, these guys, the maples that I got to get dug up. I don't necessarily want to have this side all clear because that's the wooded area. Um, I got some um, mountain mint, which will take over. Um, more azaleas, a forsythia, more jap maple. This is a really pretty one and it reseeds. I got this at our master gardener plant sale and it's called a white finch or leia. Um, never grown that before. Um, that, this I call, if you ever watched Veggie Tales, I call this the rumor weed. That thing grows everywhere. Um, chast tree, some more azaleas. Over here, I want to get this is like three of these maples, little stumps. I want to get that ground up. Um, azaleas. I have an itty bitty camellia olophilia. 
from seed, um, some wood irises, um, viburnum. That one was Shasta. And then I've got a double vein, I think it's called, viburnum in here. But see, they're getting like swallowed. So I got to get in this, this mess here. More wood asters, some goldenrod. This is a regular snowball viburnum. I don't know why the leaves aren't coming out very well on it. Um, this is a Tardiva hydrangea. And I'm hoping being tucked in here that the deer won't find it either. Plus it's woodier and kind of rougher, kind of like the, uh, they will eat oak leaf, they will eat these, but not necessarily as much as the others. So this is just the snowball viburnum. I was hoping to be able to propagate, but I don't, everything's pretty woody. I don't see like good, you need like good, um, flexible new growth. But yeah, so this is my, um, supposed to be the fairy garden, a work in progress and fighting, really it's more the fighting the weed garden, the weeds. But um, all these rocks found here, I all these rocks here, I keep saying I'm a rock farmer. People don't believe that we've dug all these rocks up. But um, yeah, so this is it. And like I said, I'm trying to find something to go right here to fit on top of here and make like a uh, little fairy garden for the grands to come up and play. But that's it. Oh, and our bow bear. Let me show you our bow bear. Named him bow after our wonderful chocolate lab who passed right before we moved into here a couple months. And uh, one of the local guys, I think he's out of Chatsworth, Georgia, the bear man, he made, he makes those and I just love it. So y'all have a great day and um, I hope you've enjoyed my garden walks and, um, and hanging in there. This one was kind of long. So we'll chat later and y'all be blessed and uh, give love to somebody.